Hey, everybody, this is Louie. Welcome back to uh, my replay here, my playthrough of Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa. Uh, as uh, It's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. Things are just like crazy. Uh, keeping busy, that's for sure. But uh, we uh, have been playing along here. As you know, I started this game without really having uh, read much about it. And um, clearly, if uh, you have been following the um, the boards and stuff at Matrix Games, you can see that it shows that I haven't read much about it because I'm really doing a bad job. Notice the, uh, as you can see the mouse moving up here, this pocket I've got here that's somehow in supply. They're getting supplies, I guess, to a little city here and rampaging all over the place. So uh, I appreciate all you watching, but uh, <clears throat> hopefully you can learn from my mistakes because I certainly don't have a whole lot of uh, of wisdom things to show you. Okay, let's look at the reports. The part of the game that drives you crazy but makes this game what it is. Garin lobbies Hitler, and he wants, let's see, a copy of his submission. They're going to carry this over to me. The proposal. What is the proposal that Garin lobbies, lobbies, blah, 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 lobbies Hitler for? Well, let's make a decision. Um, let's see. Do I agree with it or not? What does he want? Oh, they want more oil, right? So I can either petition Hitler in person. I got 23 political points. That would cost me 13. I'm going to let it go uh, because that's all I really can afford. And that's the, uh, the thing about this game. It makes you do things you don't want to do so that you can do the things that you want to do. It's, it, it's crazy, but it's just like real life. I mean, this is how things are in life, right? You have to make choices. You have to make compromises. And they can be very frustrating and very exciting. And as you can see here now, they want more trucks for uh, von Kleist in the, in the Army Group South. Um, let's see. I recommend pursuing this unless you devise a method for the Panzers to run on the other stuff. Okay, so what am I point? Wow, look at that. Uh, oh, boy. Um, isn't that interesting? They're all three of these choices uh, cost the same, but um, well, let's look at the option cost breakdown. I find this really interesting. The base cost, well, we know that that's zero. Actual cost, nine, 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 nine. So basically, you're either going to spend nine points or you're going to spend uh, none. That's not really very helpful. Sometimes that's helpful, sometimes it's not. Um, uh, nine points out of 23, that's almost half my points. I am not gonna decide on anything. There you go, let's take care of that. Extra artillery for Army Group North. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to not mess with that. And uh, extra artillery for Army Group Center. I'm not messing with that because I need some political points to do something with my army. And now here we go, the rigor convoys. Okay, it could be possible to run supply convoys from Konigsberg to Riga. It's large enough to do that. We could um, supplement the supplies. It would cost me six points to do this. Uh, I'm going to do that. Because if I can help my supply there, that would be good. Okay, so now I've probably ticked everybody off and everybody hates me. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, Kitra's neutral. Von Brausch is neutral, 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 neutral. Oh, I got one. The train guy likes me. Oh, and the truck guy hates my guts. That's the way this game is. They're almost always, if one guy, one of these likes you, the other one isn't. Because they're basically on opposite ends of the, whoa, the spectrum. So, all right. What are we going to do here? Well, we're going to come over here and realize that they're about to attack our HQ, which is really not good. So, we're just going to back him up. Let's pull him back there. And this guy is going to get hit with everything that we've got. And hopefully something good will happen. Oh, we panicked one of them. Uh, we pushed him back to the coast. They're still alive and well. And, uh, man. Yeah, there's the city right there. And I have not got it. I don't think I've... Yeah, only one division. There's no... I don't think. What have we got here? Well, that's where the HQ is, too. 
Uh, man, I cannot pull any more troops over here. So I think I'm going to have to nibble away at it. I'm trying to sort of pick these guys off a little bit, push them back, scrunch them up into the pocket, hopefully cut off their supplies, and then pounce on them and kill this annoying pocket. But whether that's going to succeed or not, I have no clue. So, oh, she's only one? Oh, well, whatever. Oh, I broke one. I broke two of them. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. And can I get anybody else to attack these guys? If I could kill them, it would really be nice. No, I cannot. How about him? Um, hold on. Can anybody attack him? No. Okay, we're done there. Uh, wow. That's a drag. Look at that mech unit there. All right. Um... That's the siege artillery, which should not really be sitting there by itself. So let's slide you over there some protection. And let's hit this guy and see if we can't enlarge the bridge in here. Wow. Look at that. That's really bad. That we could attack like that and get no retreats. That's really not good. Not good at all. Okay, you're in the wrong spot, Bunky. Uh, what do we got? Oh, yeah. Okay, so... He's the 16th, so I'm going to pull him up here. And let's see what we can do here. See if I can punch a hole and get, get moving. We've got to get the uh, rail lines. We can't get our supplies out. So we that limits what we can do and where we can go. Let's put him. Can you go? We'll put him. All right, that's pretty good. What do we got here? Uh, they're pretty beat up, except for the forty-eighth. Um, look at that, man. I should be in Piskov by now. But I'm not, so there you go. Okay, but I can move him up. Pushing him back where I can. Oh, look at that. Is he 16th? He is. That's what I thought. Um, okay, so now we've got... Uh, the third panzer group, which is uh, kind of trying to get... Uh, wait a minute. No, that was the second panzer. See, I've been gone to this game so long, I forgot what I did. And I... Yeah. These guys. Well, either way, we're not we're not seeing much action from the panzers over here this turn, <clears throat> unfortunately. So, we shall press on. Fourth Army. Okay. Okay. Um, holy smokes. I am just in such bad shape here. But that's what you get when you play a game like this and you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> this is what happens, folks. All right. Let's just pound on these guys. Learn from my mistakes. Don't do this, people. All right. Slowly but slowly. This isn't Blitzkrieg. This is, and this isn't Sitzkrieg. This is like Inchkrieg, I guess you could call this. We are inching along and going not very far, very fast. And look at this. We still have this. I still don't know how this happened. Obviously, I just wasn't paying attention, but I mean, come on. Oops. And my map is not scrolling real well. Uh, if he gets there, I'm like in huge trouble. So I guess I don't have any choice but to attack him with that because that's all I've got. Maybe he'll like die. That's good. I'll take it. 
Same here. Let's see if we can clean this up. All these little annoying troops in my rear. Very good. So let's move him up. Meanwhile, this guy. Let's drive. There's Zittimer. So let's see, we're not doing too bad down here. It's weird that we're actually doing, I think, better in the south, at least marginally, than we are in the center, which isn't historical, but hey, it's the way it is. Okay, what do we got? We got two. We'll pull you up. All right, let's just, well, wait a minute before I do that. I gotta figure out, let's see, there's my Panzer group, there's my Panzers. I do wanna drive to Zidimir with my Panzers, so what have we got? I think actually we can maybe actually do this. And down here, okay, yeah. Let's hit him first. Let's see if we can, we don't need all that, so let's take um, yeah, we'll take the, those out so we can hopefully push some firepower yet to go to push forward. Oh, well, he's not going anywhere. How about you? And you won't. And you hopefully won't either. <laughs> Okay, that'll do it. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Panic and retreat those guys. Um, no. Don't want him to go there. He's not really doing much of anything. And he's not really much help either. So there you go. All right. Uh, okay. Let's put it up here. Now we'll take this guy out. Let's see what we can scrape together. Oh, there we go. That ought to kick his butt. Good. Good. If we just keep inching along, like I said, that's about all we can do at the moment. Man, this ground right here sucks. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we can get some of these guys that I left back here. Up and look at, look at that red. I'm almost out. Of but the is the forward supply base? Yeah, that's good. Because there's my forward supply base, so we should be okay. I hope. I don't know. The the I I got to do. I keep saying this every time I do one of these videos, don't I? So I <laughs> I've got to do one. Well, hopefully, we'll learn something. How'd that go? Oh. All right. Let's see. Can we? Nope. Those guys aren't going to help, so. That's not going to help. And that's not going to help. And Can these guys move up just one? No? Really? Come on. Come on. Why can't you go? If you can go that far up, why can't you go down? I don't get that. That to me is more than a little odd, but. Hey, what do I know? Okay. Meanwhile, down here, trying to... Really? Now, why can't they... That... There. 
seems odd to me that they can have the one hex. But, uh, apparently that's the deal. Okay, we get the Romanians to get their little... Well, you're not going in there at all. Okay. We'll move the army H2 up. And we will continue to... No, we won't. How about this guy? No. Huh. All right, I'm more than a little confused about that, but... I keep hitting there. No. There. He's not attacking. Uh, so do I risk advancing into... What did I just do there? <laughs> Man, I have no idea. Give me my mini-map. There we go. No, he won't go. So that means he probably won't either. Okay, well, fine. Maybe if we attack this guy, we can push somebody into that town. It's weird. Weird. I understand a little bit more about this game, I think, Sonny. Because I'm not getting everything. You can do it. No, you just can't get over the river, I guess. Yeah, that's it. It must be the river. It's the only thing that makes sense to me here. Okay, meanwhile, we got a pull. This guy's in here. going to knock off Odessa. So let's see what we can do. All right, this ought to be interesting. <laughs> stood up to that well enough, didn't they? Holy mongoli. I expected at least a couple of them to die. As you can tell, because I just left my flank like wide open. What? Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. If I got anybody else down here I can move? No. Ooh, that was a big mistake. Okay, kids, don't do that. If you're watching at home, don't do that. And I think I moved him as far as he can go, right? Right. So, um, and there's nobody in here, is there? No. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, that sad, pathetic little turn is it. So we will go to the next turn and see what's going to happen. Yes, Okay, here goes the AI. Let's see what they'll do. I'm especially concerned about down south and up here in the north. Um, I really wish they'd run away, but they seem to be done with that for the moment. <laughs> and actually, if you look at the AI, why should they run away? They uh, outnumber us, that's for darn sure. I don't know about quality-wise. Hopefully not, but yikes in terms of... Uh, Numbers, there's just no doubt. They just keep, oh, dang it. Here they go. Yeah. This game is, I, I will say, is it plays out, the attacker was, that's bad. It plays out very differently than um, a lot of the East Front games that I've played. The Russians, at least at this point, and, and I've, oh, look at that mud already. Mud at this time of year. Um... I haven't played the Russians well, or I mean the Germans well at all, but even so, I, I think the Russians here are, uh, seem to be a lot stronger early than they are in most East Front games. So we'll see. Clearly I'm going to do very poorly in this run through, but, you know, hopefully it'll give you an idea of what you're facing. Wow, look at that. They are kicking booty. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. <laughs> Jeez. Ay, ay, ay. They, look at that. They are right. How did that even happen? Man. Now I know why guys said they restarted their games a lot when they were learning the system because this is, uh, this is bad. This is embarrassing. And I'm putting this on the internet. Why? Because I'm stupid. That's why. 
Um, look at that. Holy. I don't, I don't get this, the whole thing of the pier pit marshes. I mean, you know, tactically, they did do a lot of raiding out of there, but they didn't have the ability to do anything like this. So I'm a little, okay, I'm more than just a little skeptical about that. All right, that's it. Uh, I will have another video up, uh, hopefully in a day or two, uh, maybe in a week, because um, I'm just going to go straight through here and play the next turn on the road to disaster. Th that is called Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa with my genius leadership of the German army. So thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you later.